Now, on the state level, lawmakers passed a bill earlier this year limiting the size of ammunition clips to 10 rounds set to start July 1st. But a new lawsuit hopes to strike down that law, going against the recent push for tighter gun control. Fox 13's Matt Markovich explains what all this could mean for our state's gun owners. We are here today because on May 24th, 19 children and two teachers were gunned down. In an emotionally filled day where advocates praise Washington gun control laws. This wasn't easy. All of those electives weren't just automatically with us. It took us years to get to where we are. But I have hope that we can do the same thing at the federal level. Now a challenge to one of those state laws. Uh, this is going to be uh, uh, just a real difficult law to enforce. The Bellevue-based Second Amendment Foundation and others have filed a lawsuit claiming the state's ban on high-capacity ammunition clips is unconstitutional and is asking a federal court judge for an injunction preventing the ban from taking effect July 1st. I am not intimidated by the NRA. The suit is targeting State Attorney General Bob no, Ferguson. Like Today, the Second Amendment Foundation and others file a lawsuit against you and I questioned law him at an Alliance for Gun Responsibility Wear Orange event. And what's the likelihood of that after the judge granting that? Yeah, we feel very confident that we will successfully defend the ban on high capacity magazines adopted by the legislature. The foundation is claiming selective enforcement because it allows gun owners to keep the original high capacity magazines they have bought prior to July 1st. Magazines do not have serial numbers. There's, there's no way to track when a magazine was purchased and how long somebody has owned it. Courts across the country have upheld similar bans. And number two, we frankly have a better legal team and better legal advocates than the Second Amendment Foundation has. Congress is debating high capacity magazine bans. Our Republican Florida Congressman Greg Studi made an impression. Magazine. Here's a seven round magazine, which would be less than what would be lawful under this bill if this bill were to become law. It doesn't fit. So this gun would be banned. I hope the, gun, the gun is not loaded. I'm at my house. I can do whatever I want with my guns. In Washington state, Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell wants the state legislature to give cities some control of guns within city limits. Ferguson saying today. Are you in favor of having some cities having more control over what they can, do, can and cannot do with guns? Yes. I think you're going to see a conversation in the state legislature this upcoming session on whether to change those laws around what we call preemption. There are conversations about that going on in my office and with legislators. Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News. Well, barring any court action, the high capacity magazine ban means gun manufacturers will have to prep every new gun sold in the state with ammo clips of 10 rounds or less. And any magazine new used or sold separately can't exceed that limit. Again, this is all set to go into place on July 1st.